Hello, today I will be demonstrating how to make a working skybox in GameMaker version 8. This works for 6 and up as well. And you need the registered version to do this. But first, we're going to take a look at what makes this work. First off, the first thing you need to realize is the depth. Um, the skybox has to be drawn last because of order of operations. So you want the camera which is built into my player right here to always have the highest depth in order to control the things that are mandatory. The second part that gives this key is the D3D set hidden. Right now it's set to true because we want the Z buffer to be working appropriately with the way the polygons are drawn. We don't want them drawn in order we want them actually drawn based in depth. So, what we have here, I'm going to demonstrate. This is one of my older projects. Uh, Bandicam is making it lag a little bit. As you can see, it lacks a lot of depth. There's no background to judge the 3D objects on. And we're about to fix this. Alright, so the first thing I want people to understand it is a sky box. It is not a sky ellipse, it is not a sky rectangle, sphere, any type of whatever you plan on trying to make. It is a sky box. It needs to be a cube. So the first thing I'm going to show you, this is the drawing. Notice the sizes here. They don't have to be very big. In fact, these can be anything. They can even be 1 by 2 pixels as long as it's the same aspect ratio. It doesn't matter because it's always going to look the same based on how the texture is stretched over the polygons. What I want you to take notice of is the D3D set hidden. It is set to false. This is because we want the Z buffer to deactivate when we draw this object. And because we draw it last, the order of operations will force it into the background behind all the other objects that have already been drawn. And this is why you need it to have the highest depth on the here. So, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it with the skybox. Where did it go? <laughs> It'll still lag. It's not the game, it's just Bandicam. As you can see, there's a much greater depth I know the water doesn't tile eternally, but if I did have a floor, this would basically go into the... basically forever. But a lot of people might think that because the skybox is smaller than the water that you see here, that it should be drawn over top of it, but that's totally not correct because of the Z buffer. The island is at least probably about a thousand pixels away, but the skybox is only 500 pixels in length from the vertex. I'm going to demonstrate what happens when you remove the code that basically keeps it centered on the player on both the X, Y, and Z axis. Obviously we already have a problem because the calling is in effect and the order of operations, you can see how the polygons are being drawn first to last. Now I am inside the skybox, and this is all the bigger it needs to be. It doesn't even need to be this big. It can be smaller than any model in the game as long as you draw it last with the Z buffer off using the 3D hidden surfaces. So basically, depth has to be the highest 
or rather the lowest in order for it to be drawn last. And the key element is the D3D set hidden. Don't forget to turn it back on when you're done drawing your skybox. And remember the key element that is a skybox. If you use any other higher geometry, it can uh, reduce your ability to effectively produce the effects and can often lead to lower quality gameplay, drawing more polygons than necessary. But if you need a more in-depth demonstration, I can show you. Just ask me on my email or whatever. Um, hope this helped. Bye.